Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Marvel Action Hour, and today we're going to be hanging with my friends over at Bandai, because we're checking out, straight from Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, good old Cletus Cassidy himself, Carnage, and if you don't know Venom, Let There Be Carnage, go check it out, it's interesting, to say the least, it's just turn your brain off fun at this point very carnagey box a lot of red a lot of black a lot of viscera right nice photos of said carnage on the back i like that you get to see every little part and piece that he comes with simple style heroic action although heroic is not ever a term i would describe cletus cassidy right for those interested just as a heads up i will have links down below for entertainment earth good news he is in stock which gives you 10 percent off and on top of that you will get free shippings to boot. So hopefully that lowers the price a little bit for you. But regardless, I hope you likes what you sees. But in the meantime, we're going to be having a blast here, hopefully. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of carnage. This is a look at the brand new Bandai Tamashi Nations SH Figure Arts straight from Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, Carnage. And while I got all you symbiotes here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. A lot of Marvel stuff, a lot of superhero stuff, DC as well. A lot in the box too, right? Like these really cool Carnegie Construct knife hands. I like that if you look up close, you get to see his thumbs, you get to see the backside of his hands, very sinewy, very goopy, very sharp. That is some very cool looking carnage action, I will say. Now, you do get a pair of fists, not as exciting as those cool carnage constructs, but if you want to punch Eddie Brock in the face, you could punch Eddie Brock in the face. Now, this is a little bit more on par, right? You get a spiky looking arrowhead, again, very sharp very spiky you get a bit of a barb right that's kind of cool a little juts out spikiness every which way very cool very well done now for whatever reason this totally reminds me of the sculpture by delia in beetlejuice right you know the sculpture that i'm talking about you see it and truly while it's not the traditional looking axe that carnage usually creates it's on par with that so you got a nice little construct here now these are very carnagey hands very evil hands i'm glad that he has five fingers for you spider-man animated fans you know what I'm talking about there. You get four of these more outstretched pieces that connect to his back, two of which are more of an outstretched, two of which are more of a curled position, but they have articulation, and you can use any of those parts and pieces to attach to one end while the other end simply goes into his back. So I definitely dig that. Lot of customization, a lot of posing that can happen here, a lot of photography for all you Carnage fans, right? So this head portrait, let me just point out, for me, Carnage doesn't have a tongue. And they went that route with the movie, which by no faults of this figure, of course, but it's just too much Venom. Venom is the one with the tongue. Every other symbiote should never have the tongue thing going on. That being said, it does look great. It's painted well. I wish they would have done just a little bit more black on the face, just to kind of bring out that carnage. Because you have a really awesome looking carnage figure to put him on. And this is a very big figure. It's not the usual spindly small little carnage that we're used to, right? Cletus Cassie. This is a different take. Certainly interesting. You get to all four ports on the backside, right? You take each one of those little armatures and you stick them in and like I said, attach any part and piece that you like and you get them all posed out. Now, right here, as you can see on the backside, which I'm glad the black paint goes all the way around, right? <laughs> as it should. He's very much, you ripped all the skin off and that's what Carnage is. And they really dove into that aspect with the movie. The face... That's a little bit more carnage because it doesn't have the tongue. So this one is my more preferred, although when you have the tongue, as you'll soon see, it does present a lot more personality, right? That's always good to see. The articulation is top-notch for an SH figure arts figure, right? Lots of head articulation. You go all the way back. You can go all the way forward. He does have a painted chin, so he can't look all the way down. But if you want to get him all the way up, yeah, that totally looks good. The arms... Same thing, butterfly joints. Overall, as someone that doesn't care too much about articulation, 
you can do a lot with this figure. I especially love the way they do the elbows and the knees. Those just look as natural as they can be for a plastic toy, and I appreciate that. Lots of articulation in the upper diaphragm, lots of articulation in the waist. The legs are certainly interesting. Again, all the sinewy red goopiness, the viscera, right? Very cool. He has thigh swivel, extra thigh swivel, thigh on top of thigh swivel. You'll have no problem articulating the thighs on this carnage. And the knees are very cool, like I pointed out. I love the way that they do that. He has a kneecap. It's just awesome. The foot rotates, the toes up and down. You're, you're not going to be dissatisfied if you're an articulation fan. I'm just going to say that because get him going and he just looks cool. Like I said, the tongue, while I don't care for it for Carnage, it does bring him to life. But when you put all the wild whipping tendrils on his back with each of the four pieces, that looks great. That is the Carnage that we see from Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. Like it or lump it, Bandai's definitely done a great job as presenting what you see on screen in toy form. And I just love the fact that they give you so many swap out parts and pieces that you can use these little parts and pieces for his hands, which I totally dig those. And if you wanted to go as far as taking the tendrils and putting his actual hands and fists and everything else on those, you can do that as well. That's terrifying. That's something out of Cronenberg right there, right? But if you were wondering, how does he stack up with Marvel Legends? And to be honest with you, if you have the Venom Marvel Legends from the movie, I think that these two go together nicely. This Carnage was larger. He was taller. He's a lot bigger, right? That's why he goes, oh, shoot, that's a red one. That's totally cool in terms of scale for me. So I'm very happy the way that these two go together. But then you can always get the Bandai one if need be. And if you're wondering if you wanted to go a little bit more maximum carnage especially with your Hasbro Marvel Legends figures, no, this is one instance where it just doesn't fit. Comic Book Carnage is the one that goes with Maximum Carnage. This is definitely the movie version. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Bandai Tamashi Nations SH Figure Arts straight from Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage. The red one, right? We all know his name by now. He is going to be on the pricey side. I see why. He's a lot bigger. He's a massive SH Figure Arts figure. Lots of swap out parts and pieces. Nice paint job. Very well executed, I will say. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything. Let there be carnage. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, yeah, when that movie came out, I just turned my brain off and kind of enjoyed it. It was, it was interesting. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.